right, well, it's time for this week's um, road test. Now, Jono, what is this strange looking contraption? It's okay. called the Smart Path. The Smart Path, okay. You know how most golfers um, we see come over the top? Or maybe a lot a bit, of high handicappers. Or a little bit there. too far inside? Okay. Well, this is going to eliminate that problem if okay. you take this to the range and practice with it and get ingrained on the right path, Sam. Jono, how does it work? Well, I'll show you how it works, Sammy. Now, I'll put a ball here. This pad so here. So you actually hit balls you off You can hit it. golf okay. balls off this pad. Now, as we said, a lot of golfers come over the top. Yeah. So if you come over the top, you're going to hit the hit, red, hit this um, red, pegs. red peg. Doesn't hurt your club or anything. Doesn't does hurt it? your peg. Uh, <laughs> hit your club. It'll yeah. hurt the peg slightly, but it won't damage the peg all okay. that much. And if you hit the yellow peg, if you come too far inside. inside. So inside, I guess that's your, your pusher or your hooker, your lower handicap player. They're the two common faults in the golf swing, Sam. Yeah. Well, the only two faults, really, because mm. uh, if you're uh, coming down the right path, you're hitting the ball fairly straight, aren't you? Yeah. So this encourages you to take the club along the right path and on the way down, come back down the right path. Through that channel. Through the channel, hit the ball, follow through and hit the ball nice and straight. And I suppose, importantly, we see that it's slightly curved, isn't that path? Slightly from the inside, along the target line for a moment and back to the inside, the correct shape to the golf swing. That is the perfect angle that the club should come down on, Sam. Well, let's see you hit one if you're okay. so smart. Well, yeah. I'm going to give it a go, and if I if I make a mistake, we'll try to rectify that, won't we? Okay, so and we'll you'll go. get the feedback. A little bit better. That looks Tiny a little bit better. Tiny bit of contact, but it was a nice little um, draw, better ball flight there Wasn't a bad well. shot. And um, okay. There's also an area here, Sam, where you can put a little plastic peg in there, a little tee. So you can hit driver you hit, as well. You can hit driver off that. So okay. I'm sure that if uh, people actually worked at this, took it to the driving range and hit a, you would ingrain the right path for so your golf swing, Sammy. Now, let's talk a little bit about who the smart path is going to suit in your opinion. Sam, I think the smart path is ideally suited for the high handicapper or the mid-range handicapper who actually comes over the top, slices or pushes the ball, and the golfer that actually comes too far inside, Sam. Okay. So they're the, they're the golfers I think will get a lot of mileage out of the smart path. Okay, I concur. Look, I don't think it's going to help um, the golfer uh, square the club face necessarily at impact or get solid contact necessarily with you know with their eyes, ball and turf. Um, but I concur, it's going to help the, the beginner, the higher handicap, whose main challenge is swinging the club on the correct path. Indeed. Um, especially the one that comes uh, across outside. To now, Jono, can you give it a score out of 10, please? I will, Sam. I reckon the smart path I'll rate um, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Okay, it's pretty high. It's high, Sam, but... You've got to give yourself somewhere to go throughout the series, <laughs> No, but Sam, I think that uh, a lot of people get a lot of uh, benefit out of this product. Okay. And if they want more information? More information, just go to the Golf Zone website, golfzone.com.au, and that's this week's product road test.